Hi, welcome to this tutorial on adding and editing groups in the Slide Clip Video Maker. Here is a quick explanation of the Slide Clip groups. These are also called title art inside the Slide Clips application. These groups are containers that house many different animated elements inside them. This allows the group to be resized and moved without having to reposition all the animation within it. You can also put animation on the group itself. So the group can be animated while everything inside the group is also animated and plain. Let's first take a look at how to add a title art group to your slide. Go to the top menu bar and find the Insert Option button. Click that button and then find the Title Art option from the drop-down menu. Once the Title Art library opens, look through the collection to find a Title Art you would like to use. If you mouse over the preview image, you can see an animation of what the Title Art looks like in motion. This one looks good. I will add it just by clicking right on the preview. As you can see, it inserts the group into your work area. This group can be resized and moved around, maintaining the animation inside the group. So that is how you insert a group into your slide. Now, let's look at editing that group. To edit a group, you can either double click on the group itself or you can select Edit Group from the Layers, and the last way is to click Edit Group under the Work Area right here. Once I click the Edit Group button, you will see a new work area appear. You can see now that the group is broken up into separate elements. With the group elements now separated, you can work on editing the elements in that group. First, I'm going to change some colors. I'm going to start by changing the color of this element right here. With that shape selected, I will go to the color picker in the top menu bar and choose my desired color. I want to change it to a green. That looks good. I will go ahead and change this shape as well. As you can see, it has saved the green color I chose last in the color picker. I will select my color from this color swatch and click OK. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and change the text while I'm inside the group. If you remember from the first tutorial going over the basics, we changed the text from outside the group. And just like outside the group, Inside the group, you'll also find a text edit window. I will go here and change my text right now. I will click into the quick text edit box and change my message to Judd, you did a great job. Let's look at some of the other elements inside this group. You can see there's an animated graphic in this group that has a yellow balloon, which you can change the color of and add your own message to right from inside the slide clip project. However, I will cover this in a different tutorial about personalizing customizable graphics in the slide clips maker. So I got my changes all done. All I need to do is close the group editor and the changes will be saved. Now play the slide from the Play Slide button at the bottom of the Slide Clips application. As you can see, the animation does not entirely play all the way through now. This is because the duration of the slide is not long enough anymore. 
You can easily fix this by clicking the button that shows the seconds down here in the timeline. This will open up a more advanced timeline that shows all the elements in your work area and their animations. I will go over this more in a tutorial on using this timeline in the Slide Clips Maker. All we want to focus on right now is the slide duration at the top. To add time, drag the end marker to the right. I will set it to about 13 seconds. Now click Apply and close the button. Click the Play slide again to check your timing. That looks great. If you need to add a little more time, repeat the last thing we went over. Well, this wraps up this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching.